Who did this? Who it was you. This? You pushed out you. Rapala. You pushed out Rapala. You pushed out Rapala. You pushed out Rapala. You Superman and 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 watch the planes. Yeah, I'll be there right away. I can't believe I won the prize for the best drawing of the civil defence sign. I feel awesome. Drawing was awesome. You better save some of those sweets for me. I will if you're on time. I'll try. about something weird. Well, not weird, just funny or kind of cool actually. Well, you know me, I'm up for listening to anything. <laughs> You're so great like that. You're such a good listener. Well, don't mean to brag. <laughs> it's about my dreams. Is it weird to love your dreams? Because I do a lot. It's almost like I'm looking forward to going to sleep at night. Well, not really, but, I mean, what are your dreams about? Mainly Superman. We glide across the runway together, give the planes a push, waving at all the passengers. Last night, we had a car chase. I was in the front, driving, and Superman, he was in the back. <laughs> He was shooting the bad guys with this huge laser gun that made a really loud noise. <laughs> <laughs> These night adventures began when Superman started invading my dreams. He would come roaring by in his shining blue suit and cape. whistling in the wind. He kind of looks like my Uncle Frank. The magic whirring of his cape sounded like the wings of a hundred seagulls or the motors of a thousand planes. Wow. I, I wish I could be more like you. Where is Sheldon, that sick boy? Probably torturing some insects or sucking on his sour bonbons, the sallow mummer's boy. Hey! I heard that! Mwahaha! I am the mighty Sheldor, and I'm gonna take over this school. And I won't let you, either of you two amateurs, stop me. Mwahaha! Amateurs? How dare you call us amateurs, you evil beast? Yeah, you, evil beast. Look at you, a drop out and a drop out suck up. You two can't hope to match my powers. Mwahaha. <laughs> right, let's show him, David. Powers on. <laughs> yes, we did it again. He was no match for our strength, the puny imbecile. Yeah, that puny imbecile. This calls for a celebration. Hooray! Woohoo! Okay, settle down, settle down, please. 
I'd like you to finish your extended compositions on the Japanese defence programme by the end of the lesson. Underline your title. Name at the top, please. for some breaking global news. Today is the day. Our British allies officially declaring war on Nazi Germany in defence of the people of Poland. We must stand by Britain in their fight against the reign of Adolf Hitler. Oh no. Not war. This can't be happening. Why, God, why? Don't worry. We'll be alright for the time being. I'll go fight those thugs over in Europe. I'm only glad Otto didn't live to see this. Oh, be quiet, woman. You know the child doesn't like to be reminded of him. I'm only glad Otto didn't live to see it come to this. <sighs> anyway, Tony from down the road says they've been locking gyms up in prison for the duration. Good on them. How can you say that, Frank? They're innocent people. It's nothing but their fascist leaders. If America cares so much, why didn't they stop financing the German armaments industry when the Nazis first came to power? Oh, you and your conspiracies. Every time I state a fact that is not pro-American, it's a conspiracy. Hear that, Sylvia? Your Uncle Frank supports war. Don't bring Sylvia into this. Go to your room, Sylvia. No. Sylvia, stay. Do what I say, Sylvia. Look what you've done now, Frank. Wasn't me. You're right. It's the war. Here you go again. Right, that's it. I'm off out. Okay, stand by any chairs, please. Pencils in mouths. Just like the drill. In single file, please, down to the shelter. Party. She's probably just rant about how beautiful she is and how she has the best presents, like every year. Agreed. I wonder what she's got this year. I reckon she's got some new shoes. Probably a skipping route from rural India or somewhere posh like that. Rural India is hardly posh. You know what I mean, smarty pants.
Hey, happy, happy birthday. birthday. All right, see you two. Come in. You better put your presents near the door. They're probably not special enough to go with the rest. Okay. I need to show you my presents. They are the best. Like always. It's from Sweden. Only the best comes from there. Wow, it's, it's fantastic. It's a shame you don't have one this good, Sylvia. Well, you better go over to the rest. Mummy's got me gourmet cakes and dairy ice cream. Isn't she a darling? Don't. It's not worth it. Oh, I hate that girl! Good thing Mum got her out of date chocolate. <laughs> Right, come on children, you need to hurry up or else you're going to miss the film. Then we want more cake. It's only it's about to start. It's only the trailers. What was it about, Sylvia? <laughs> it's the war. It's making everyone different. I, I can't get it out of my head. Don't worry. It's okay. It'll be all right now. Well, uh, I didn't know Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was that bad. <laughs> Frank, can't you see she's upset? Don't worry. I'm fine now. Okay. Night, night. Good night. Night, Sylvia. Sylvia, don't be late. I won't. And don't get into any trouble. I won't. Boo! Oh, you, you scared me! How was the plan? I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on, what's the matter? It's all this war business. I'm scared, David. I've... I've been having nightmares. Well, maybe some Chinese tea will cheer you up. Okay. Are you two playing or what? Okay. Tig! Bet you can't catch me! I'm best than all of you! did this. It was you. You pushed over Paul. No, no, it wasn't. Evil. No, I didn't. After everything we've done for you, how could you?
off me. Um, come here, look what's happened. What's going on here? Sylvia pushed me. Everyone saw. Why did she do it? I don't know. Why don't you ask your, your mum? It's a long time ago. It's got nothing to do with what's happening now. Mummy? Daddy? What's going on? Well, Mummy here. Maybe I should tell her. Well, Paula, a long time ago, when, when I was working at the mall and your dad was working at the office, Mummy hurt Sylvia's mummy's feelings. What do you mean? Well, to cut the long story short, basically, I slapped still Sylvia's mummy. <laughs> it cracks me up every time. You hit Sylvia's mummy? Yes, and I'm not proud of it. I falsely accused her of cheating with your dad. It was a big mistake, a lot of words were said. Like what? Oh, just that Sylvia's mum said, and I quote, and physically repulsive, mentally retarded, selfish, vulgar, no sense of humour, and yeah, a lot of other really mean things. Charming, hey? Wait, so you think that Sylvia will push me because of what you did to her mummy? I'm not positive, but... Yes. Simon. What we're trying to say is that Sylvia may have casted her revenge upon you for what I did to her mother. But what about my snowsuit? Well, Sylvia just have to buy her another one. How are you going to tell her that? You hate speaking to them. Mm. They're still upset about the whole cheating incident. I mean, they sent their own daughter around to Paula's party by herself. Or was it with that, that David kid? That's it. I'm going to have to ask Mrs Sterling to get David to ask Sylvia's mum to buy our Paula a new snowsuit. But I like this snowsuit. Tough luck, get a new one. Hey Sylvia, how's my favourite trooper? Judith Sue? So, nice cake. Yeah. So were you lately? Nothing. Are you sure? I told you nothing. Oh, Sylvia. We all know something's up. It's unfair on your mother and I. but just... Well, Mrs. Sterling, she heard the story from Mrs. Brown, who told David to come here and ask us to buy a new snow. I, I didn't do it! Tell me, honey. Tell me. You don't have to be afraid. We'll understand. Just tell me how it really happened. I told you. I told you and I can't make it any different. Not even for you. Okay, Sylvia. Okay. But we'll buy Paula Brown another snowsuit anyway. Just to make everybody happy. And ten years from now, nobody will ever know the difference. Why did they pick on me, Uncle Frank? Why did they pick on me? 
Welcome to the real world. <coughs> Welcome to reality.